weather sure changed in a hurry. Let's find an inn before we get soaked. Estelle, what is it? Oh, I... I just thought a harbor town would be more... lively than this. Yeah, this isn't exactly how I imagine it either. But it feels like the kind of place that core thief you're looking for would hang out. The decky was headed for Torum Harbor. I'm sure the two are pretty similar. No way. It's only Nor Harbor that's scummy like this. What do you mean? Nor Harbor is... It's all I because of the Empire. What happened to that little brat if you didn't have our money? Please, sir. Not that. Please give me back my son. With this awful weather the last few months, we haven't been able to launch the boats. Surely you realize, sir, we can't hope to pay our taxes like this. You'd better hurry up and capture that Ribgoro beast then, shouldn't you? That's right. If you sell his horn, you'll never have to worry about taxes again. How many times do we have to tell you? Savages. Is that the sort of scum you were talking about, Carol? Yeah, the Empire's influence is really strong here. I heard things got even worse with the new Magistrate. He's some Imperial big shot who does whatever he wants. Which means there's no one to complain to if his henchmen act like that. How can that be? That's enough! You're hurt! You might even get yourself killed this time! But it's our son! If I don't go... Ah! What are you trying to do? Oh, sorry about that. I didn't see you there. Yuri! My apologies, sir. Let me take care of that. But I... I can't afford this treatment. Don't you have something else to say? Huh? Jeez, you guys been robbed of your manners along with your money? Uh, I'm sorry. Thank you most kindly. For you. That one was mine too. Huh. That was about to get ugly. All right. Whoa, hold on. What are you doing? Yuri. I'm happy to see you're finally seeing the world outside the barrier. So, be a little more happy then. Stop pointing that thing at me. 
Well, I got a little less happy when I saw this. Hey, it's up to 10,000 gold. Nice. I didn't think when you quit the Knights that you'd take up a life of crime. A lot of things have happened, Flynn. It's not that simple. Simple or not, a crime is a crime. Good to see you're as stubborn as always. I... Uh-oh. Yuri, I heard something happened. Are you all... Perfect timing. Flynn! Huh? Oh, Flynn, are you all right? Have you been hurt? Uh, I I'm fine. Um, Lady Estelis. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I was just so happy to see you. I... Please, this way. What? Uh, but Flynn, there's something I need to tell you. I'd better go find Carol and Rita. Some guy just dragged Estelle right by us. Are they both inside the inn? Yep. So that other guy was Flynn then. Yeah, well... You might not be able to get a word in edgewise if you went in now. Seem like they might be in there a while. Want to burn time walking around town a bit? Sure, okay. All finished? And are we done whispering secrets? I've heard your story up until this point, Yuri. And also the reason for the bounty on your head. First off, I owe you my thanks for protecting her. Oh! I've been meaning to express my gratitude as well, Yuri. It's nothing. I was already out searching for that Blastia thief. And that's where we have a problem. Hmm? Regardless of the circumstances, the Imperial law cannot allow the obstruction of officers, jailbreaking, and trespassing. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I told him everything. Don't be sorry. I mean, I did all that stuff. Then I assume you are prepared to receive the punishment your actions deserve. Flynn! Do whatever you like, but just listen a minute, will you? So you can tell me how it was all done in order to get back the lower quarters Blastia Corps? That's what you wanted to say, right? Sir Flynn, I have news! What is Rita doing here? I heard you refused an Imperial request for assistance! Do you think it's all right for a mage employed by the Empire to simply abandon her obligations? Who's that? Got me. Huh. <laughs> Whatever. It's not like I care a whit about you, either. I'll make the introductions. This is my second-in-command, Sodia. This is Witcher, a mage who offered his assistance to us at the laboratory in Ospio. This is my... You! Sir, it's the criminal from the Wanted poster! At ease, Sodia. He is a friend of mine. What? But sir, he's a wanted man! I've just heard his story. While he is guilty of minor crimes, the warrant for his arrest contains false accusations. Later, I will return him to the capital and explain the situation. And he will receive his due punishment. My... my mistake, sir. Witcher, let's have your report. 
So we're done here, right? I believe the ongoing rain and wind are being caused by a blastia. The weather in this season is unpredictable, but this does not explain why it worsens whenever boats leave port. We also have testimony that something like a blastia was carried into Magistrate Rago's residence. I've never heard anything about a blastia that controlled the weather. Nothing like that has ever been excavated. Wait. The aqua blastia, the ruins, it couldn't be. So his lordship, the Magistrate, is using a Blastia to control the weather. It appears that way, though we can't yet say for certain. The harbor has been closed due to weather. Any ship that leaves is fired on for disobeying the ordinance. So much for crossing over to Torum. Those aren't the only rumors surrounding the Magistrate. He's released a monster known as Ribgaro into the wild, and amuses himself by forcing those who can't pay their taxes to hunt it. He claims he'll pardon their taxes if they can manage to capture the beast. How cruel! That injured couple we met near the entrance must be two of his victims. And their child! What? What happened to their child? Forget about it. Well, it's been a hell of a day for us and we're tired. Let's just stay at this inn for the night. Also, we can't forget about a certain missing person. Missing person?